What's going on, family? I hope everybody's well. I just wanted to um, holler at y'all real quick. I'm getting ready to do a video on ancestral altars, and that's pretty much self-explanatory, an ancestor and an altar for your ancestor. And this is something that is widely practiced all over the world, but sometimes we have a reluctant seeing doing it as black people because of religious purposes and the religions that's been given to us. But for those who are open to it, I wanted to show you all how to go about it. One thing about doing it in an ancestor altar, first thing is yourself. You want to have your spirit clean. You want to have your um, any any um, negativity and any uncleanness about yourself. You want to have that first cleaned up. So this is, um. we can get this off of Amazon. Or you can go to New Orleans. There's a lot of different um, shops in New Orleans that sell this. But this is Dr. Pryor's Seven Holy um, Seven Holy Spirit Hyssop Bath Oil. And this stuff is real good. Let me unbox it real quick so you all can take a look at it. See how it looks. But this is um, Seven Holy Spirit it's a bad one. I'm telling you, this is some really good stuff. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have some negative ways about yourself or some ways that you don't like about yourself and you know that it's wrong. This will really, even if you want to stop drinking or stop smoking herb or cigarettes or something like that, this will really clean your, clean your aura up. This will clean your aura up. But this is how it looks. You can look in here. You can see the hyssop in it when you shake it up. Nice hyssop. But this is definitely um, something to get. You can take a bath with this. And whenever you take a spiritual bath, you um, you want to you want to be able to, um, of course, immerse your whole body into it. But if you funny about your hair, then you can just sprinkle some over your head. Some some people won't want to dump their head under the water. But that's a, um even better way to do it. You can do it like that. There's some other ways you can do a spiritual bath. Um, this here is, this is uh, Florida water. And this is good to take after you bath. Or you can put it in the bathtub as well. But you can get this. I got this in New Orleans too. But they have this, of course, probably on Amazon. Get it off of Amazon. But you can, um, you will definitely see the difference once you do this. You definitely see the difference. So Florida water, Dr. Pryor's is good. It's other seven Holy Spirit um, hyssop oils, I mean bath oils that they have too. But this is one of the best. So check it out and get ready for the video about the ancestral altar coming up. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody be open to this because it's it's really um time for you to be open to it. It's, you know, for those who would, those who are coming out of um, religious practices and they know that it's more to it. And, you know, it has this, it has, even though this is, has scriptures on the Bible, because we, we haven't even delved into the Bible and where the scriptures come from. But a, a lot of us not even concerned with it. We just believe in whatever's been told to us. But it even it gives the Bible verse on here. But this is a spiritual bath. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Psalms 517, 517. But going to drop that on you all. And y'all stay tuned for the ancestral altar. And I haven't forgot about the life path numbers too. All right. Tune in soon. Peace.